In this video, I'd like to show you how to do a canceled order. A canceled order is when a bride or a customer decides that they no longer want the item that is on the transaction. This would be if it's still pending. If it's complete, then you would need to do a full return because it means that tax has already been due. Since we have our special order 362 is still pending, we're going to go ahead and complete a canceled order for Ansley. She already paid on July 28th $500, and we are not going to give her a refund. So for this transaction, what we'd like to do is remove the item from the transaction by going to Action, Delete from Special Order. This will remove the item completely from the special order and remove the subtotal and the total price. You will see that the amount due is $500. With the parentheses around it, Bridal Live is telling you that you owe the customer $500, but we're not going to give her a refund, so we need to add a canceled item. If you have a canceled item already in your inventory, you can simply search for the item here, and you can click on that. If you do not have that item, you can simply use the plus sign here to quick add it to your inventory. Canceled item. The department is going to be fees and extra charges. The vendor you want to assign to the vendor for your store name. Item type would be non inventory and no tax. Everything else on this I add item screen can stay the same. Save and add to special order. So we have the item added, but nothing has changed. So we're going to want to update this adjusted price to match exactly what Bridal Live is telling you is the amount due. All right, I changed that adjusted price to 500, and now you see our amount due is zero dollars. Now we're done and we can add some simple notes and we can complete the special order.